Ooh. Ooh, there's our entrance so far. Still tinkering with it. Welcome back to the Let's Play, everyone. This is Dallas here. Yes, yes, we're continuing on the ruins, which I'm very surprised about. I've never worked on a project this much before, back to back. But if it's holding my interest, then why not? And it is really holding my interest. So last episode, we made this room, and we also made this room right here, which is a parkour section to some really powerful armor that's not yet enchanted. <laughs> And today we're just gonna be working on whatever I want to. Um, yeah, that's what I usually do. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try to spiffy up this a little better. I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit more. As you can see, I'm building some statues. These are supposed to look like they're guarding the entrance. Uh, might find a way to put a light source on top of them. This one, I'm not gonna complete. I'm gonna make it look like it crumbled to the ground a bit. And we might start on another room inside the ruins today. Or just go do something else entirely. Okay, so I've been shaping the cave. Just now realize I left diorite right there. I hate having diorite and granite because it makes the cave look ugly. Um, but yeah, I've been shaping the cave some and I completely got rid of that one statue design. I went with, I guess these are maybe like serpents. Yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, there's originally supposed to be maybe six here, but I made it look like the cave over time because this is very ancient. That's the idea. Like this one's broken down a bit. That one's broken. We got three standing. I'm figuring out some lights for this. I really want this to be lit up. I got to get rid of all these torches. I'm going to still put some drip stone from the top. Made it also look like I broke into the door here. Turned it out pretty cool. So I tried to get rid of as many torches as possible and hide them. And I think I came up with a look I like. It's still pretty dark, but it gives off that perfect lighting for a dark cave. And I feel like I need to add some stuff around here. Maybe some like... I don't know, just looking a little empty right here. Like flat, I guess I should say. But I've mainly been hiding soul torches and soul lanterns everywhere, such as under these and back there. I think back there's a normal torch just to light it up a little bit more. I mainly do that so you can see that nice curve right there. Got it hidden under here, but I think it looks great. This is great lighting. I know mobs could spawn in this, but I really don't care. This entrance actually turned out a little better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I was a little skeptical. I sort of want to take these bookshelf designs and put them in my ancient ruins beneath my house. I came over here for a very particular thing, and it's that up there. So, if you couldn't tell, the logo for these ancient people is that Mojang symbol on our flag, and I built it up there. Yeah, right there. I just want to get a good look at this because I want to build this into the wall at my other one. I never decided what the C is going to stand for. I thought I was gonna go with like the crimson or something like that because I'm using red in here, but I don't want to do that. Oh wait, I got an easy way home. I forgot about that. Dang it. Yes, I visited out here. <laughs> I forgot I slept in this bed. Dang it. Uh, just looking at this room, it doesn't look like it would take that long to make, but considering I had to dig all this out, this took a long time. <laughs> While we're here, I should mess with these lanterns because I'm really wanting to change them. Um, so as you know, this leads to the church, the donation chapel, uh, but I made a new pathway here. And this is what I've been working on. I'm still going to design that symbol right there, I believe. But this leads to, um, I guess, the other part of the whole tomb. This is where I mainly want to expand, that is. So I got it coming down here. Got this sort of just weird transition. Um, I think right here is just going to be some resting spots. I'm not really sure. Put a few tables and chairs. I just thought it looked kind of cool and unique. Walk over this way. We take a turn. Made it crumble a bit right here into the cave. Every time I break into a cave system, I take inspiration from that. It just couldn't support itself and it crumbled in there. But uh, I'm working on this room right now. Uh, this is going to be, I guess, the library. The small library of this whole tomb. I have it in an L shape. I'm just trying to be a little unique with it. Over here, I'm mainly going to put tables, but all against these walls is going to be... I think I'm going to do empty bookshelves, actually, because these are going to be placeholders, because I am super excited for the new bookshelves in the game, the ones that you can actually make empty or put books in it. Another reason why they should have UI for the new bookshelves is because you want to place them sporadically. Currently, if you just right-click on it, it's always going to put it right here. I want to be able to put one right here on this shelf, 
maybe one down here on this shelf. But if I do one on each shelf, it's just always gonna be in the top left corner. And it just looks kind of silly. I hope they fix that. I broke into a cave right here. I might take inspiration from this again and just put a crumbled bookshelf here. I'll show you when it's done. Maybe we'll go do something else after this because I know you're probably tired of this place. Are you? Actually, I wanna know, are you guys tired of this place already? <laughs> I swear to Notch, I will punch a baby camel. What is this I'm hearing about? You don't need to be in the beta to try out the new features. All you have to do is go into world settings and enable new update features. Or don't tell me this is a thing. Okay, first of all, I needed to update. Now I'm on the latest update. What? After seven, eight years, we finally have spectator mode. <laughs> Experimental features. No way. What the? That was an interesting sound. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna test out my test world first. Next major update. Okay, so it's okay, it's gonna create a copy of my world. So there's still the possibility of bugs happening, but it's not the beta, so that's pretty cool. Oh my god, we have the new stuff. I did not expect that to happen this episode. Wow. Okay, I don't care about much of anything except for these bookshelves. Give it to me now. Chisel oh, <laughs> Oh, oh my God. Yes, yes, ooh, and I like the darker text. Well, obviously these are looms, so it's gonna look dip. Oh my God, yes. Look at that. And you know what's funny that we're just now trying this? Is they just tweeted out that they're adding the option where you can now place a book in any location you want. Right now, it's not in the game. It's gonna go up there like I said, but now they added it to where, like if you click right here, I think it'll go there, yes. This is all I wanted. This is all I freaking wanted. And it's no longer for show anymore. These are actual books. Oh, oh, I didn't know hanging signs were in it. Thank you. God, I love new features. It's just like a breath of fresh air in this game. I'm curious. Will these attach normally to signposts and make it look good? No, they don't attach to it. Interesting. Okay, you place them on the ground. Nope, nope. So they can only be placed on the side of a normal block or under something, right? Can be placed under this? Yes. Oh, whoa. Oh, the ch okay, that looks cool. Okay, and then that option. I wish that could be done off of this fence post. And then we could have, ooh, wait a minute. Hold your horses, Bob. What about that? Okay, that connects it, but now it's not connected here. <laughs> it's always a catch. All right, well, I backed up my world. Um, after I clicked this, so <laughs> I hope it don't break my world. If it does, we might be a little screwed. Loading resources. Everything good? Everything fine? Seems so. How do you make this dang thing? Book. There it is. Wow. Fairly easy to make. Just so happens I have lots and lots of wood. Oh, huh. that's pretty. Okay, we got uh, three stacks. <laughs> That'll be enough, right? I like how cheap they are to make. But before we run down there, I want some hanging signs because it's new and I'm craving them. How do you make? Probably with this. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Aha, I was right. Stripped? Are you serious? That's expensive. Are you kidding me? So I have to place down a block Use my axe to strip it all, then mine it all back up, and then craft it. Okay. Am I being picky? Yeah. I know. So where do camels spawn? I'm assuming... <laughs> I'm being... Uh, I just need to focus on one thing. But I just want to go check a desert real fast. <laughs> Have a saddle in here? No. Camels. Camel. Bow. Eh. Junk. There's my sand pit. <laughs> our can't or uh yeah, our camel's in here? Gosh, this place looks awful. It's where we fought the wither. Terrible idea, by the way. Fighting the wither on bedrock edition on hard mode in the desert, not a good idea. And I fought two of them at once here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see any. I'm going home. So does that mean piglin heads are in the game now? That'll be hard to get. You have to bring them to this world and then wait for a thunderstorm. 
It would be pretty fun, actually, to bring some to the overworld, trap them in cages. Wait, yeah, how do you do that? Yeah. Oh, God, that's going to be hard. Just trap them in cages out in no man's land and then wait for a thunderstorm. So I worked on this a little bit more. It just looks a little bit better. Added some holes around there. And I added a lot of cobblestone here because now I love the effect. It looks like this used to be a wall right here. This cave, which it did. It used to just come into a wall right here. But now it looks like I blew this wall open or it crumbled. And it actually looks like a cave-in right there, which looks pretty cool. Um, I got rid of that nasty looking door here. I just want it to be open. Oh my god. I can't believe this is happening. I did not expect this this episode. No. I think these will look good in here. Oh, you can expect these are gonna be all over my world now like just explaining where to go That's actually something I've been meaning to do for a very long time I think it's even on my project wall and that is putting road signs everywhere um, For me myself. I, I will never really get lost But mainly for people who download and just for aesthetics make it look like you know where to go Wow, I just wasted so much string on making all these looms <laughs> Oh Well, this is gonna look so much better. Oh, yes. I wonder if you can put normal books in here to make it look filled up. Okay, I'm hoping this works because down there, I don't want to put any enchanted books. For the thank God. Yes, that's so great. <laughs> and I know you might be thinking, go ahead and start messing around with the new library. Um, because as you know, we completely rehauled our library recently. Um, and then now we get these, so now I'm going to have to some, <laughs> somewhat rehaul it again. Oh, jeez. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll get rid of these, obviously. I don't even know how this is going to look. What's that sound? What? What the heck? Miss Bravenbauer, how'd you get out of your boat? Did you literally go upstairs? Oh no, you're right there. What are you doing? No, get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Are you kidding me? Get in the boat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this ain't good. Okay, I found a bug. Villagers don't get in boats. That's a bad bug. That's not terrible. Give me the boat! Um, don't panic. Miss Bravenbauer, if you just stay right there, that would be great. I have nothing on me. Stay. Don't you move a muscle. Stay. I gotta be fast. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Any hizzle. Yeah, that looks actually pretty good. Yeah, like it was great. Um, so we're obviously going to keep normal bookshelves in because I mean, I probably do have this many enchanted books Oh, you know what would be so cool though? Ugh, this is gonna be a tough decision. What if I replaced every single bookshelf in here? With this and then we have a completely empty library And then I can go through and actually add real sections and just start you know what I might do that because yeah That's how I can do it I was afraid I won't have this option anymore where I can see my books, but we can just have sections. Sorry, I'm not doing much right now. I'm just brainstorming with you guys. So we'll get rid of probably everything and go with that trick. I literally just saw that in the corner of my eye. Bravenbauer, chill. I'm sorry, it had to be done. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, stay. Okay, so I want this place to look like it was rummaged through and everything was most likely taken at the last, like, moment. I really just want one bookshelf in most shelves, but sadly, we're gonna have to wait until they finally add that. We're just gonna have a lot of blue books everywhere, which is okay, I guess. We might add a couple in some areas. Oh yeah, this is gonna look great. Okay, so I'm definitely glad I did this in my test world first. This is the test world of my LP. Because I would have to change a lot of things. Because one thing I didn't keep in mind is that, for example, up here, I designed this library in a way where you can have it one wide. Because with these bookshelves, you have the design on both sides. But down here, you don't. So I have to, like, fill in these archways. You can't have books in here anymore. But I think I could work around that. But then I started looking around and started filling in these books on here. It's, it's an alright look, but I feel like it... It just feels a lot more empty now. And I know, I definitely know I will not have enough books to really fill these in. So then I kind of tested with this one. I filled them all in and I also mixed in some of these books. But something's, I don't know what it is, but something's just off. Like I, I like the look. I mean, if you look at it now, it looks cool. But I just, I like this look a little bit better. 
So I might not touch my actual library, which seems kind of odd because this is a brand new bookshelf that I've always wanted, but the look just doesn't really fit here, in my opinion. Yeah, just throw in some books here and there. I might add some more or whatever. I'm not going to do a crazy amount with this yet because it's still in development. They might even change the textures or, or rework them entirely. Who knows? Um, so yeah, that's this room so far. I like how it turned out. Today's comic question comes from Will Frey. What is your favorite dog breed and what kind of dogs do you think should be added to Minecraft? It's funny because I tweeted about this not too long ago about dogs in Minecraft. So if you look at it, they added cat breeds into Minecraft. Well, kind of, more like mixes. Yeah, I guess it's breeds, right? Sort of, they made it where you don't have to go to the ocelot anymore. And it's interesting how they're not doing it with dogs. I thought they should make it where, but I guess you just find them randomly in the wild. I mean, I guess. My favorite dog breeds probably have to be like a golden retriever or a husky, you know, just like a medium, I guess, big dog. But do you think they should add it to the game where you find... Well, I mean, see, that's a comp complicated part. Because if you find the wolf in the game, do you think when you tame it, you have a chance of getting a random cat or a dog? Or do you think there should be, like, nine different dog breeds in the game that you can just find randomly in the wild? Which would be a little interesting. I don't know how they would do it. That's probably why they haven't approached it yet. But I'd love to have a little fuzzy golden retriever in this game. <laughs> oh! Speak of the devils. And of course, I just want to thank the donors, specifically Zyman Rekus or Sizimon. I, th I think it's like Zyman Rekus. Thank you for your donation. Dalibor Prusak, thank you for your generous donation. I feel like that would be my name in a different universe. It's like Spongegar and Patar. Dalibor. <laughs> and a, a new donor here. You know? Riff's Bedrock Adventure with probably his 20th donation, it feels like. And it's always a massive donation. This guy is absolutely nuts. And he made it on the wall, of course. I'm telling you guys, if you're still watching and you haven't went and subscribed to Rift's Bedrock Adventure yet, I'm a little ashamed in you. You'd be helping me out a ton by doing that because of how much he's helped out my channel. If you can do that in return for me, go subscribe him and show him some love because of how much of love he showed this channel. That'd be so nice of you to do. And I was thinking, should I use, no, well, I think for Rift's tomb here, this is going to be his tomb. How do I want to do this? I think I'm going to use a normal sign right here on a block to show his name. Ooh, and instead of having lanterns right here in these, we can put his donations. Well, I mean, I could eventually move that down here, but I also want to put his total amount down because people want to see that for the top donators in this world. I'll figure out what I'm going to do, especially now that we have hanging signs, I have more options now. Thank you everyone for watching today's episode and thank you for the very kind donations, everyone. I'll show you riffs. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.